I grew up in the UK near London uh, and I was from a Bangladeshi background, Bengali parents who migrated to the UK in the 60s. Um, I was culturally Muslim but not a practicing Muslim until 2001. I did see a lot of abuse when it came to how men treated women in our community. It was pretty disgusting and I said from a young age that I was just going to escape it. It's always the woman's fault. Whenever the man wants to beat up the woman, the woman deserved it. Even the women were saying that. And it was just like tiring. I felt like Islam was going to be a solution for all of these problems, societal problems and cultural problems. So as a teenager, I moved to a new school in East London, Essex area. And that's where I became radicalized. The social circle that I, I surrounded myself with in the environment had very conservative Muslim values. And if you didn't comply, you would be judged <laughs> negatively and teased or rejected or shunned. And uh, at 17, I really did have the desire. I, I wanted to be a good person. I wanted God to love me because I didn't feel loved by anybody else. And my circle of friends were very practicing Muslim girls. And I liked them a lot. They were very sweet. So I complied to their culture. And, but I gradually became radicalized and I accepted their arguments when it came to politics and well, foreign policy. It was a, a huge turning point in my life. It um, made me aware of political Islam versus Western politics. From what I understood, Bin Laden was a hero. And you know, when he, he spoke, he seemed so genuine. I resonated with Bin Laden's call to arms. Uh, it was about retaliation and uh, why the reasons, all the reasons, so many reasons why the Muslim community has to become united and independently strong and fight back. So we, we saw it as a battle. We, we perceived non-Muslims as their enemies. So my state of mind at the time when I was looking for a husband was to have someone who supported the jihad. At the end of 2002, I met John on the Muslim Matrimony website. And what attracted me to John was the fact that he was an American convert. And I was thinking, ooh, rebel. I liked that. <laughs> uh, I liked it that he came from an educated, upper middle class family. Um, you know, kind of what I always wish I had been part of growing up. We both had a, um, a passion for jihad. I have four sons and they're American citizens because their dad is American. I wanted to raise warriors, men, fearless men that would conquer. I wanted them to grow up and not be afraid to kill people and I wanted them to not be afraid to be killed. For many years I was arguing and just debating with John about not being ready to go to Syria with the children. That he was impatient and all his friends were going to fight and he was feeling like a hypocrite. Uh, I was in Syria with my children for three weeks in September 2013 and I decided to leave because I just didn't want to be there to begin with, not with my children being so young. I'm no longer an extremist Muslim or a pro-jihadist or pro-caliphate um, person. Um, what made me change was the desire to see my children survive and thrive. I just didn't want to, I, I didn't want to bury one of my children. Um, also, I wanted them to um, contribute to life, not kill it off and destroy it. So that was a was something that John and I just really just couldn't see eye to eye. As much as I admired Bin Laden back in the day in 2001, I now realized that we were 
we were being exploited and used as cannon fodder or you know like calling the men to you know abandon their families and go fight and women were you know just like our purpose was to be baby making machines to have a population that can later pay taxes. I, I'm living proof that people can change and turn around their way of thinking and, and that's one of the reasons why I came out with my story. Young, I feel like young people are so easily uh, they're vulnerable and easy to exploit for causes, um, especially if they come from hostile environments where you know they're not taught pacifism and, and peace and and you know diplomacy. And I wish that I had been taught empathy and mercy, not punishment and um, degradation by my parents. The tools. I wish I had the tools in life from a young age that I had to figure out just a few years ago.